Good morning, Robin. Thank you very much for joining us today. My first question is, what do you like about your work? Uh, good morning, Tom. Nice to uh, speak to you again. Um, yes, I am currently the CFO of a small biotech pharmaceutical business called Nanomap. Um, it does some very interesting work in radioisotopes for uh, metastatic cancer. So hoping to deliver some therapies there. Uh, hopefully it will save people's lives. That is, that sort of gives you a warm fuzzy feeling. The fact that I'm working uh, in life-saving drugs is, um, it, 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 it is, it's excellent. But fundamentally my job is, I see it is solving problems. It's, it's helping people solve the, their problems on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and those problems tend to be around finance, but they can just be straightforwardly practical ones like opening a bank account and, um, you know, doing, doing, you know, relatively sort of straightforward things. Um, but yes, my career over the 35 years that I've been working um, in finance, I would say has fundamentally been about solving problems. And that is what I, I like to do. Uh, there's a great variety in what I do. Um, and yep, it does involve quite a lot of figures work, but it, um, you know, it, it, it comes back to identifying what people want and how you can help them solve their problems. Excellent. Okay. And, and how did you start out? So I started very traditional. I went, uh, I read, um, uh, mathematics and engineering at Bristol university, um, and went into, uh, the firm what it, that is now KPMG. I started off in general practice in the audit department. I had a variety of audits to run. I did some insolvency work, did tax work, I did what was known as special work, due diligence related work. I then moved into corporate finance um, and did a lot of financial modeling. Um, uh, and, uh, and, then that, and then I moved into private equity um, where I spent uh, about 10 years um, uh, working for a, a firm there and necessarily working in private equity that was where I honed the skills in buying and selling businesses which is all about deal doing is all about solving problems <laughs> yeah. be they you know um, be how do we negotiate this deal to how do we get round a legal um, a legal hurdle or something along those lines so that was uh, yeah that, and, and it produced an enormous amount of variety in my life. Yeah. And what would you say to someone looking to start out today? Um, try to be as pluralistic as possible. Don't, don't specialise too soon. I, I mean, if you absolutely want to be an international tax specialist, then you're very welcome to start that, if that is what your absolute passion is. Um, but my view is, you want to be exposed to as many different impetuses and, um, uh, you know, other, I've lost, I've lost, but basically just lots and lots of different, um, uh, different ideas, different people, network, talk to other people about what they do in their job, understand what, understand how businesses make money because that, is, that was one of the great things that I learned as an auditor, was that I necessarily, you had to work out how this business made money because you had to work out what, uh, what drove the accounts. Because if you were a decent auditor, you had to understand what the risks attached to the business were. Yeah. Um, and yet again, doing due diligence in private equity situation, um, you had to understand where the risks and the opportunities were in this business. Um, that you were, you know, you, you were looking at possibly buying, yeah. um, and so therefore you have to have to understand the drivers in business, um, and but that is best done by talking to lots of people, networking, creating a network. Also, you know, the current job I've got was, um, you know, the guy who is my CEO. He phoned up um, back in February, uh, and we hadn't seen each other face to face since 2013 we'd kept vaguely in touch but um he just sort of said you know wh when i got this role uh when i started 
the role that he was doing as chief, as chief executive, you know, you were the person I thought I should be having as my CFO. So, you know, he had kept me in mind for seven years. Wow. And that sort of networking, you can't, uh, you know, it, 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 it's, it's invaluable. Yeah.